Hello everyone, welcome back to Mind in Quest where we talk almost everything under the sun. I'm Chris and for this video, we will be talking about what to do when you start earning. Before we start, let me just say that all of these things I'm about to share are my personal learnings or lessons that I have come to realize as I look back on my 20s. I sound so old saying that. I'm, I'm still in my 20s, guys. <laughs> I also understand that we have different situations and our circumstances affects our decision making. But for those who are looking for things to do while you're still in your 20s, maybe this video will give you an idea on how to navigate the uncertainties of 20s. So let's start. First, save money. Do not save what is left after spending, but spend what is left after saving. So make a savings account and save money. I've made another video about the accounts that you should have when you want to manage your finances better. But for those who are starting to earn their money, suggest that you open an account aside from the payroll account that your company asks you to open. This is to ensure that you have a separate account where you put your savings into. Now, I understand that 20s is the best time to party, to go out with friends, to spend time exploring different places. I've been there and I know how tempting it is to always go out with friends and have fun. There's nothing wrong with that. Just know the limit. Find the balance of how much to spend for your laags and how much money you should save. So save and the rest you can spend on things that you want and how you want your money to be spent. You wouldn't appreciate this advice now because you're thinking that you just graduated and then you want to have fun and enjoy your hard-earned money but that's the point. You work hard for those money and the best person who can benefit that is your future self. So save some for your future self and I am sure the older you will thank you for what you are doing now. Second is find a person who can guide you. Now this doesn't really have to be someone that you have to pay. This person can be your parent, your relative, your new manager, which will really play an important role in your career. And those random people you meet give you inspiration to, to do better in life, whatever that means. <laughs> Now another reason that you will need or seek guidance because along the way or as you mature you will realize that you don't know so much and there are things that will need other people's help. I would say that it could have been better if there was someone who had teach me how to manage my savings or my salary better where to put it, how to invest on stock market or real estate or wherever I can make the most out of my savings or my salary. But that's not the case. Having someone who can guide or share their knowledge with me about financial literacy would be, could have been great. As Mahatma Gandhi said, live as if you were to die tomorrow learn as if you were to live forever and third is invest courage taught me no matter how bad a crisis gets any sound investment will eventually pay off get your insurance or invest in real estate now this is my personal advice to my younger self because this idea made an impact on me when i was 25 after all those laag and party after three three or four years of working that's when i realized or that's when it hit me that i wasn't 
saving enough for my future and working 10 hours more than 10 hours a day and not being able to acquire something to put under under my name that made me feel that I wasn't doing enough and I that's one of the reasons that I've decided to come to Singapore and earn more now why I focus on health insurance and real estate health insurance if you don't have this if you get sick god forbid then it will finish not just your savings but your family's savings also if ever you get into a situation where you have to spend so much for medication and hospitalization second is real estate simply because it just appreciates so fast and it's good to acquire even if just like a lot under your name you don't have to build a house right away i know people would say that if you don't need it then it's not an asset it's a liability but the way i see it as long as the property appreciates its value then i would consider it an investment i understand that it's scary to think that you have to pay for a two thousand or three thousand per month in two years or three years but looking back now, where did your money go after five years of working? Give back to others and pay forward. Be willing to share your blessings. The only riches that last are the ones that are given away. I think everyone would agree that we have experienced sharing our blessings to others and the blessing has become bigger when we share it to others. And, it, and the idea alone that you are not the only person who feels happiness because of that blessings it's just another blessing isn't it fifth find time to do what you love Be just because your life changes doesn't mean that your deepest passions have to so if you have other things that you are passionate about aside from the job that you are doing right now where you earn your salary or money find time for that passion because what i've realized is the things that you really like doing will find its way back to you and if you didn't do it for years you will feel a bit of regret for stopping or for for not doing it even if you know that it feels good or it gives you a different kind of peace and happiness while you're doing that and you would eventually wish that i wish i didn't stop i could have been better and if i didn't stop then it could have been a source of an income where i don't have to deal with toxic colleagues just to earn money bonus advice is to just enjoy life enjoy the journey i don't know if i'm allowed to say the most challenging because i haven't lived my 30s yet but i would say there's a lot that happened or could happen in your 20s and it will make you or break you it will give you a direction it will determine where you will set your life for the coming years the youngest you could live is now and have fun with that and that's it for this video i don't know if i made sense if you enjoy this video you leave a like a comment if you want I'll see you down there and subscribe for another random topic that I think somehow relatable. And yeah, I'll see you on the next one.